Tweety Place Catch the Putty Tat, a little golden book. This golden book was written by Eileen Daly, illustrated by Peter Alvarado and William Lawrence. I think I'd better find that Putty Tat, Tweety decided. He's always trying to catch me, so I'm safer if I know where he is. He flew down to the floor, hoping to see Sylvester curled up in his favorite snoozing place. But Sylvester was in the kitchen, and he seemed very busy. Tweety peeked around the corner. You can see Sylvester there with his apron on. Looks like he's making pancakes. I wonder what the putty tat is baking, said Tweety to himself. It smells well we tasty. Then he heard Sylvester call, Tweety, Tweety Bird, I've got a present for you. Oh, goody, thought Tweety. The putty tat wants to be friends again. He flew into the kitchen. What's my present? He asked. Bird seed flapjack, said Sylvester, made just for you. He flipped one quickly into the air and it fell, plop, right on Tweety. Oh, cried Tweety, my flapjack is too big. Not for me, said Sylvester. It's just right with the Tweety bird inside. He pounced, but the flapjack and Tweety disappeared under the stove. That was a naughty putty tat, said Tweety. I would like to be friends with you, but you make it so hard. No harm meant, Tweety, said Sylvester. I just like to play catch the Tweety bird. Let's play catch the putty tat for a little while, suggested Tweety. But Sylvester just yawned and fell asleep. <sighs> Tweety escaped from under the stove and flew up to the attic. I really do need a west from that putty tat, he said as he perched on a birdcage. But how can I make him stop chasing me? Then Tweety looked into the cage and had an idea. He searched the attic and finally found just what he wanted, a paper bird hanging from a string. Tweety put the paper bird far back inside the cage. Booty Tat will think the bird is a wheel one. He will have to go inside to get it. And I will twap him in the bird cage. Tweety hid behind the open bird cage door. Then he began to sing. Soon he heard Sylvester call. Tweety, did I hear you up here? Suddenly Sylvester spied the cage and inside what he thought was a bird. Aha! he exclaimed and pounced into the open cage. Tweety slammed the door shut. Aha yourself, he said. Now you can't get out and I will have a rest. A rest, huh? said Sylvester after a minute. Well, keep your eyes open, Tweety. I think you are about to see a cage walking. Sylvester put his legs through the wires and walked away to find a wire cutter. Soon he had cut his way out and was again chasing poor Tweety. Pooty tat, Tweety puffed out of breath. I am getting so weary, sweepy. I wish you would go away for a long time. Later Tweety asked himself, what would make him go away? Something scary maybe. Well, while Sylvester was sleeping, Tweety thought and thought. That putty tat is pretty brave, recalled Tweety. It will take something wee wee scary to frighten him away. I know, he said. I'll be a witch. A scary witch. That should make the putty tat go away for a long time. Tweety made himself look like a scary witch. He flew over Sylvester's head. Swish! Ooh, said the Tweety Witch. Sylvester opened his eye. Then he opened the other. Oh, what 
was that? He asked, standing up and looking around. A witch, said the Tweety Witch. A witch, eh, said Sylvester. You're a very small witch, aren't you? Well, yes, said the Tweety Witch, but you know what small witches do, don't you? What, asked Sylvester, backing away. Just a little bit. We cast spells, bad ones. We can change cats into tiny mice. Into my mice, can you uh, really do that? Asked Sylvester, backing away a little faster. It's my favorite spell, said the Tweety Witch. I'll show you. He began to wave his broom. No, don't, shouted Sylvester, and he ran out the door and through the gate. I'm starting the spell, said the Tweety Witch, as he flew above Sylvester's ear. One, two, ka-zip, ka-zip. Sylvester ran faster, so fast, that he didn't see where he was going. Look out, shouted Tweety, but it was too late. Sylvester was right at the edge of a pond. He couldn't stop, so he took a mighty leap and landed beside a big rock. After a minute, he climbed up on the rock. He looked back and saw Tweety, who had taken off his witch mask. Tweety, exclaimed Sylvester, then he said, I uh, knew that it was you all the time. Are you all white, putty tap? Tweety called. No, said Sylvester. Cats don't like water. Help me. Sylvester pointed to the shore. Sail that little boat over and rescue me. But Tweety wouldn't do it. You were a naughty, putty tat, he said, and he flew home leaving Sylvester marooned. That means stuck on an island. For a little while, Tweety was happy all by himself. Then a strange thing happened. He grew lonesome. I never thought I'd miss that pesky pooty tat, he said to himself. I even miss being chased. Finally, he flew back to see how Sylvester was getting along. And what did Tweety find? Sylvester was even more lonesome than Tweety. Poor Pooty Tat, said Tweety. If I rescue you, will you promise not to play chess all the time? I promise, I promise, said Sylvester. So Tweety sailed the little boat over to the rock, and Sylvester sailed it back. And the next day, Sylvester chased Tweety only twice. Once before breakfast, and once before dinner. <laughs>